What is going on guys? Jay here and I'm bringing you guys a Pokemon Black 2, White 2 Wi-Fi battle. Yes, I finally, I'm finally, i finally bringing you guys a Wi-Fi battle from this game. Um, I did have a couple of other Wi-Fi battles uh, be uh, before this game, but uh, those battles weren't really too good. I either swept my opponent or my opponent uh, just whooped my ass and, uh, you know, I don't really want to upload those kind of games. So, um, you know, uh, yeah. But this battle is up against Nexus. Um, I was actually trying to get a battle from Elo, but Elo wouldn't battle me because just because, uh, you know, he kept on skipping over my name when I asked for a battle, uh, when he was looking for a battle. But um, anyway, looking at the team, um, a UU match, and uh, yeah, who who told Scrafty to come down to UU? And that Darmanitan over there is, is a threat, man. It's, I mean, any Darmanitan is a threat. It's just... That's just the law. Any Darmanitan you see is is a big threat, and that Darmanitan over there is a big threat. And everything else just, I mean, he has some very bulk, he has like bulky Pokemon. It's just ridiculous. I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into the battle. I'm gonna lead off my Flygon as my opponent is gonna lead off with um, the Swampert, and I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna go for the U-turn. I know he's gonna go for the Stealth Rock, but I personally don't care. Um, I could always spin him away if need be. But uh, I'm going to bring in my Blastoise right now, which is my Rapid Spinner. And um, I figured now he was actually going to predict me to go for the Toxic, which is why I don't go for the Toxic, because I know he has a Durant, and I know he's going to probably switch it in predicting me to go for the Toxic. So instead, I'm going to go for the Scald and try to fish for a Burn. And um, unfortunately, I don't get the Burn. Um, and if he had stayed in with Swampert, that would have just been more damage than Swampert. And I could have easily just burnt the Swampert, and the Swampert would have been a, a pretty much easier to deal with but uh, he's gonna go for the entrainment now which um if you don't if you don't want know what it does it changes your ability to the ability that um who to the ability of whoever uses it and so i see what he was trying to do that's what i'm talking about that gimmicky stuff right there that's so gimmicky did i even say gimmicky in the beginning of the video i don't know but uh he tries to cut my accuracy with hustle it doesn't work and i do end up getting a crit on the skull and that is a dead um durant now he's gonna bring in jinx as i'm gonna uh switch out and bring in my shaman predicting him to go for the lovely kiss but uh, he actually goes for the trick, and uh, I give him an expert belt. He gives me a, um, what the hell is that called? A uh, choice scarf. I don't mind the choice scarf, um, just because, you know, hey, choice scarf, shaman, shaman that's, that's fine with me. But uh, he's going to go into Darmanitan, predict me to go for the uh, HP, fire, or seed flare, whichever one. Um, good play on him. And now I have to switch out because I don't want to take a flare blitz to the face. And now this is going to let him get, get up a, mm, get, get. I'm stuttering. This is going to let him get up a substitute. And uh, now he's just going to pretty much demolish uh, half my team with this one Darmanitan. I could have easily played around this Darmanitan if I went for the Earthquake right now. But instead, I go for the Stealth Rock. Why did I go for the Stealth Rock? I don't... I, I guess I was just thinking that I could take a Flare Blitz a little bit better than that. But um, I, I, I definitely overestimated Gligar's defense right there. I mean, I never... I don't underestimate Darmanitan's power. I overestimated uh, Gligar's defense right there. So, um... That was a really bad play by me. I should have just went for the Earthquake and broke the Substitute. And now because of that, I am going to end up losing my Blastoids this turn to an Earthquake. Because um, even that Flare Blitz, even a resisted Flare Blitz just does so much damage to Blastoids. It's so ridiculous. But then again, my Blastoids isn't physically defensive. But um, now I'm going to bring in my um, Clefable to bait him to go for the Fighting type move. I figure he would probably maybe have Superpower. I don't know. And then I'm like, wait a minute. He has a Sub. He has, he's Sub Punching, isn't he? And, um, yep, I brought in my Gligar on a Focus Punch, and, um, that is a dead Gligar. So I end up losing my Physical Wall and one of my Special Walls. So that is bad. <laughs> okay, that is very bad. So I'm going to bring in my, um, Flygon, which I should have brought in a couple turns ago. And I'm just going to go for the Earthquake and break his Sub, and this is going to be a dead Flygon. But I did see that, um, his Darmanitan does have Life Orb, which is why I was just pretty much sacking off everything. Just trying to uh, whittle it down to kill itself to his uh, life orb recoil and, and stuff. And uh, that does end up happening. And that's pretty much a dead Darmanitan. But um, I end up losing three Pokemon to that one Darmanitan. I felt really bad after that. But um, he's going to bring a Swampert. I'm going to go for the U-turn because I don't want to uh, be in on a Swampert. It could easily go for like a Waterfall or Earthquake or something. And uh, I kind of just want, I want to keep my Darmanitan safe. So I'm going to go into my Clefable now, as he does, in fact, go for the Earthquake. And um, it does a, consider about, a considerable amount of damage. I mean, it does almost half, which is kind of scary. But then again, my Clefable isn't physically defensive. So, uh, you know, that does make sense that it does that much. So, yeah. But um, 
He's going to actually switch out now. He's going to go into his Duskinor as I'm going to go for the uh, Wish, um, I do believe. Yes. I, yeah, I go for the Wish. I know I go for the Wish. I watched this battle like 10 damn times. And um, now I'm going to go for the knockoff because I don't want his Duskinor getting any leftover recovery. Um, it just I just don't want to get in any kind of leftover recovery. And uh, yeah. And I do end up knocking off the leftovers, and that's pretty good. But he goes for the Substitute, and I'm like, well... Fuck. So where's the focus punch, bro? And there's the focus punch. And I stay in and go for the wish just because I know my Clefable's gonna die. And I mean, I don't want anything else on my team taking a focus punch right now. So I'm just like, you know what, Clefable? Um, you're just gonna have to pass off a wish to something. You're gonna have to die. Um, I apologize, but yeah, you're just gonna have to die. I'm sorry. And so, um, yeah, that happens. I'm gonna bring in my Shaman and I'm gonna uh, attempt to break the sub with a Seed Flare. Uh, as he's just gonna go for another. Uh, focus punch I don't know why but I mean I guess I mean I mean I guess he just wanted to go for it because you know hey I'm behind the sub I can go for a big ass hit let's go ahead and do it focus punch and um it does a considerable amount of damage and I will be able to get back up to nearly full though with my uh with the wish so uh thank goodness uh Wanda you know Cafable whoop whoop yes but I'm um, not gonna go into Jinx as I'm gonna go for another seed flare and that miss right there was very crucial because if I didn't miss that seed flare, and if I if I didn't miss that seed flare, this Jinx would have been dead from this seed flare. But nope, I missed the first seed flare, and now my uh, Shaman is asleep uh, because of that one miss, and um, that's pretty unfortunate. So now I have to switch out. I'm not gonna sit there and burn off any kind of sleep turns, and I'm gonna go into my Darmanitan as he's gonna go for the trick again, and he's gonna um trick me my expert belt back but i mean we already i already had expert belt on this darmanitan i guess he was hoping that was choice scarf or something i don't know um i think that's what he said but i wasn't i'm not choice them um, in any kind of way so uh you know yeah but uh, i end up kno in the jinx with the earthquake brings in swamper i'm gonna go for the u-turn no i go for the flare blitz oh this is the part where i go for the flare blitz and uh look at that Resistant Flare Blitz does quite a bit to uh, Swamper, but I am going to uh, be taken out by Earthquake. I don't know why I stayed in with my Darmanitan. Um, I should have switched to my Shaman um, and just, uh, you know, resisted the Earthquake and just went for a Seed Flare that following turn. Because then I would still had a Pokemon. I just played that whole turn badly. Like, I don't even know why. I just played that whole turn badly. But um, I'm going to bring a Shaman, go for the Seed Flare, and that is going to be a dead uh, Swamper. Now, he has two Pokemon left. Shaman is my only Pokemon left, and I'm locked in on Seed Flare. So I have to hope for a special defense drop on this Scraggy. Oh, not Scraggy, Scrafty. Because if I don't get the special defense drop, I can't do it. But I do end up getting the special defense drop. I know I could take at least one hit from this thing because it's not boosted or anything. And I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not like uh, Choice Bandit or something. I don't think it would be Choice Bandit. That would be kind of weird. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be weird, but it would just be like odd. Um... But uh, I do end up going for another Seed Flare. I do hit it, and I will be able to take out the Scrafty. But now I'm down to one Seed Flare. I was down to one Seed Flare, and um, I pretty much would have to KO this Duskinor with this one Seed Flare if I have any chance of, uh, you know, pulling a win out of my ass. So I go for the Seed Flare, and it barely lives. It barely lives. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty much a good game because I'm not going to be able to live the Shadow Sneak. But I do live it, and I go for the Struggle. And I do end up taking out this Duskinor, but the recoil is going to be enough to take out my Shaman. And uh, that's pretty much a, a tie. I consider it a tie. The game said I won, but I consider it a tie because at the end of the battle, none of us had our Pokemon. None of us had any Pokemon remaining. Um, so, uh, you know, yeah, that's pretty much that. So if you enjoyed this uh, Black 2, White 2 Wi-Fi battle, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I will check you guys out uh, later. And if you missed my last uh, Wi-Fi battle, it will be, you know, playing right here. So, uh, yeah. See ya.